wherever you're at, take a moment to get comfortable, whatever that looks like today. So whether you're seated, standing, or lying down, let's take a moment to connect with our breath. So start by inhaling through your nose. And then a gentle exhale. And then if you feel comfortable closing your eyes or softening your gaze, and take a moment as you breathe to just notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice it coming in your body and as it comes out. And I invite you throughout today's practice to just follow the breath tuning into that inner wisdom that each of us have. And then if you feel comfortable placing one hand on your heart, the other hand on your belly, and just notice the connection with the breath and the body. Maybe you notice when you inhale, you feel expansion. And maybe when you exhale, you feel a gentle release. And whether the hands are on the body or at your sides, just see if you can take this minute for yourself. Allowing yourself the permission to just let it be whatever it is. And anytime throughout today's yoga practice, anytime you need to let something go, I invite you to let it go on your exhale. And just take a moment to let go of the morning of the day thus far and tuning into the present moment by drawing the awareness back to the breath. And without judgment or goals of how it should look like or how it should feel, just becoming aware. What is my body telling me? And as you continue to breathe, I invite you to ask yourself these two questions. Where am I at and what do I need? So maybe that means to move the body around a little bit. Or maybe you're in your perfect sweet spot where you can ground your energy and welcome yourself to this experience and this present moment. So take a couple more breaths on your own. And just notice how you feel. And then if your eyes are closed, slowly blink your eyes open. Take your time, there's no rush. If the hands are connected onto the body, slowly release. Palms can be down on the thighs. And we'll take a breath together. So inhale through the nose. Then I invite you to do an open mouth exhale. Let's do that one more time. Option to sigh it out. Inhale through the nose. Deep, relaxing exhale. Let it go. All right. And I'm going to move my location. So if you're in a chair, or if you're sitting on the ground, or wherever you're at, let me go ahead and position this so you can see me. I'm going to come back. All right. So we'll start whether you're seated on the ground or in a chair or on a couch. We're going to start by inhaling, reaching your arms up overhead, connecting your palms, and then as you exhale, draw it into heart center. And follow your rhythm, follow the pace of your breath, palms at your sides. Take an inhale, lift your arms up overhead, connect your palms. And as you exhale, draw it in towards your heart center. Good, palms at your sides. On your next inhale, follow your breath pattern. Lift the arms up, connect the palms. As you exhale, draw it in. 
Good, and shake your arms out. And wherever you're seated, see if you can grow taller from the crown of your head, lifting from your heart. You're gonna place your palms down on your legs. And then we're gonna add on to our flow. As you inhale, you're gonna reach your arms up high to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're gonna do a gentle twist to one side. So your arm is gonna be on your leg and your back arm can be behind you for support. As you inhale, lift your heart. And as you exhale, see if you can twist from the middle of your spine. Continue to breathe here. And then when you're ready, inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up above your head, take your time. And it doesn't matter if you're going slower or faster than me, follow your breath. As you exhale, twist to the second side. Front hand connects to your thigh. Back arm can be behind you like a kickstand for support. As you exhale, see if you can add a gentle twist. And as you inhale, come back to center, elevate the arms up above the head, take your time. Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Good. And let's go ahead and shake our arms out, letting go of any energy, any tension, any stress, Ooh, letting it go, having fun with it, right? So just any organic movements, whether you're lifting the arms, crossing over the body, adding some shoulder circles, right? How can you make it unique and your own? And in yoga, that's why we call it a practice. It looks different for everybody and it welcomes everybody. So if you're seated on a chair, go ahead and place it over to the side. All right. Here we go. All right. And then if you're comfortable, you can make your way onto the floor. And I'm going to demo from two different angles so that you can see. So on the floor, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna begin our cat cows. So for cat cow, and I'll turn to the side so you can see, you're gonna rest your hands on your thighs. You're gonna take an inhale and lift the heart forward, maybe even lift the chin up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're gonna round your back. Think about doming out the back, tightening the chin towards the chest. And keep going following your rhythm. Every time you inhale, puff the heart forward, lift the gaze. Every time you exhale, surrender, round the back, tuck the chin in towards your chest. So keep following your rhythm, moving through the breath, finding your seated cat cow. So this is really beneficial, especially from Zoom learning or sitting all day, getting that spinal mobility and just that movement into our backs, which can sometimes be really, really tight. So keep going through these two poses. You can add anything that feels good and take out anything that doesn't. And then wherever you're at, two more rounds, welcoming the breath and the movement into the body. Take your time if you want to hang out in one of the poses a little bit longer. Anything that feels right. Wherever you're at, one more round. And then when you feel like you're balanced, come back to the center and shake it out. All right, so in yoga therapy, we talk a lot about moving energy, maybe energy that's stuck, maybe energy that no longer serves us and how can we just shake the stress away, right? How can we have fun with it? How can we just let it go? Good. And then when you're ready, we're gonna move into our standing series. So slowly making your way up into standing. And then if you have a chair or a couch or something that you can support your hands on, you have that option as well to use that as a prop. So I'm gonna grab a chair. And if you do not have a chair or a couch or 
something that you can use um, as a prop, that's okay. You can do all of these exercises without it. I just wanted to show you how you can use household um, equipment in order to add it to your yoga practice to make you feel a little bit more comfortable. So if you notice, I'm practicing in socks, but I'm gonna remove my socks. So if you have socks on, um, you might wanna take it off to get more grip and to strengthen your feet. So let me position this so you guys can see. All right, so I'm gonna place my hands on the chair. And if you don't have a chair, you can just place your hands at your sides. I'll be demoing both ways. So fingertips can be on the chair. As you inhale, you're gonna reach up, lift up onto your toes. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lower your heels down. If you do not have a chair, arms are at your sides. A little bit more challenging, but you can lift up, working on your balance, lifting up onto the toes. And then as you exhale, slowly lowering your heels. And again, you can use a bed or something if you wanna put your hand for support. And you're just going to keep going at your own pace. Every time you inhale, lift up onto the toes. Every time you exhale, lowering to the heels. So keep going, following the rhythm of your breath. And if the breath is confusing as to what to do, just remember to breathe. Right? So it doesn't have to look a certain way. And remember, I'm the guide just guiding you through, but you're the CEO. You're the one that decides how your practice should look. Good. So if your hands are on the chair or if your hands are at your sides, and it's just lengthening from the crown of the head as we lift up onto our toes, exhale if it's down to the sides. Do this a couple more times and just notice how it feels to be standing, especially if you just came out of a class on Zoom where you're sitting or if you're coming from work. Maybe this is your first time that you're standing and moving today. And then once you're done, shake it out. Shaking out the legs, the arms, maybe you throw your head and your neck into the party, right? So how does it feel? And then we're gonna add on. So second round, you can use the chair or not. You're gonna lift up onto your toes with the option to lift the right arm to the sky. And then as you exhale, you can bring your arm down to your side or to the chair. And then you'll do the other side. Inhale, lift the left arm high to the sky, up on the toes. Exhale, lower down. Keep going. Follow your rhythm of your breath. So as you come up, lifting the toes and the arms and really working on our proprioception. So what that means is our body's awareness in space. So how often do we stand up on our toes with our arm lifted above our head, right? Working on that brain to body connection and drawing ourselves into this mindful movement to focus on the breath in the present moment. So a couple more times each side, as you inhale, come up onto the toes, lift the arm. And then option to do one more round. Balancing it out, doing one on each side. And then once you're done, shake it out. Right, so, so much of this energy that we're moving around, so important to just let it go from our head to our feet. All right, and then when you're ready, last step of this, this is optional as well. Hands can be on the chair by your sides. When you inhale, lift up onto the toes, option to lift both arms. And then as you exhale, lowering both arms and both heels down. Okay. So this is optional if you would like to try. When you inhale, lift both arms up, up onto the toes. As you exhale, lowering down. And you can take any step of this movement. So if you wanna work on just lifting and lowering the toes, 
If you want to just lift the toes in one arm, or if you want to try the balancing of lifting onto the toes and lifting both arms, right? So many different levels of yoga. I invite you to take whatever one best serves you. And it may look different than what I'm doing, and that's totally fine. How can you make this practice your own? Wherever you're at, two more rounds. And then drawing the awareness back to the breath. Notice if the mind started to wander, know that that's totally normal. And then on your next inhale, see if you can connect back to the breath. Finishing up one more round wherever you're at. And then when you're done, shake it out. Maybe you even jog in place. Maybe you throw a leg kick in, some arm swings some jumping jacks, right? So how can you move that energy? Maybe you jump some rope, right? So if you have that chair, you can go ahead and place it over to the side and see if you can find a space wherever you're practicing where you can separate your feet a little bit wider than hip distance. So for this one, I'm gonna separate my feet super wide. So as long as you're at least hip distance or maybe a little bit wider, see how it feels on your lower back. Toes can be pointed forward or slightly out. Then you're gonna reach your hands back behind. So I'm gonna turn so you can see me. I'm gonna bring my hands back to my lower back and I'm just gonna add a little massage. So notice how your lower back feels. Might be a little bit tight, maybe sore. All right, just checking in and asking yourself, how does my back feel in this moment? Where am I at and what do I need? And then from this position, bringing your arms to your sides, shaking it out. And then we're gonna to begin to bend forward. So option to place your hands on your hips. Take an inhale, lift your heart like we did in cat cow. And as you exhale, bend forward. So hips are going back, chest is going down. So I'll show you from the side. And then once you're at a position where you feel it in your backside of your body, the back of your legs, you can add a bend to the knees if that feels better. And then you can slide your arms down your legs or let them dangle and hang in front of you. Then whatever variation that you're doing, see if you can let your head fall. Imagine as if your head is something heavy and you're allowing it to drop down towards the ground. And then I invite you, if you wanna add any movement of the arms, maybe bending and straightening the legs, right? Maybe you throw some dynamic movement into it, like how we've been doing as we're shaking out any energy that maybe no longer serves us. So however that looks in the body, again, feet are wider than hip width, knees can bend or straighten, arms can dangle or be supported on our legs or our hips. You can also have the option to place your hands on your lower back. Maybe you continue with that self-massage, sending yourself a little bit more energy. So wherever you're at, whether you're finding movement or stillness, allow the head to just surrender down. Letting go, relax your jaw, relax the muscles in your face. Take a deep inhale breath. And when you're ready, a nice open mouth exhale, let it go. You found movement on your next inhale, finding stillness. Place your hands on your legs and then slowly guide them up to your hips. And then as you inhale, standing up, your head and your neck come up last. Arms can come down and slowly with control, walk your feet in and back to our motto for today of shaking that stress out, letting it go. All right, and then when you're ready, you're gonna place one foot forward. So at this one, it's gonna be my right leg is gonna be forward. I'm gonna point my toes in the direction in front of me. And then I'm gonna take my back foot, which is my left foot, and I'm gonna slightly turn it in. So let me move my camera so you guys can see my feet a little bit better. 
So I'm gonna step my right foot forward. I'm gonna turn my back foot in. So it's at almost like a 45 degree angle. And then I wanna have a nice wide stance. So kind of like the last pose that we just did, think about wider for more support. And then once you get there, placing your hands on your hips. So you can start with both legs straight. And then as you exhale, bend your front knee. So knees in the direction over the ankle, but not over the toe. So you're gonna inhale as you straighten the front leg, whether that's the right or the left, and then exhale as you bend. So keep going, do it about like three to five times and just sending energy to that front leg. Again, you're just bending and extending the right leg and we're gonna add on to this. And just notice how this feels. Notice how this leg feels at this time of day. Good. And if you smile, if it feels good to smile, you can throw a smile in there. And when you're ready, on your next inhale, you're gonna bend your front knee. Arms are gonna come out to the side. So you're gonna reach in opposite direction. And I'm gonna show you a little yoga trick. So as you inhale, reach your arms out in front of you, touch your palms. As you exhale, take your arms out to the side. And ta-da, arms are in one line of energy. From here, flip your palms up. Keep that front knee bent. So sending energy of the front knee and back leg is nice and strong. And you might be feeling your arms warming up, getting a little bit warm. Maybe you feel it in the shoulders. Maybe you reach your fingertips in opposite directions to really engage your arms. And then as you exhale, hands come to your hip, straighten the leg, and then little yoga trick, you're gonna turn your feet. So what was your front leg? Now you're gonna turn that into that 45 degree angle. What was your back leg is now gonna be your front leg. You're gonna turn your toes forward. And we're gonna begin the same sequence on this side. When you're ready, you can join me bending and straightening the leg. And just checking in and noticing how this side feels, right? And whatever comes up, it's just the body giving us information without any judgment or anything, just tuning in. How does this side feel, right? Maybe it's a little tighter than the other side, or maybe it's a little bit more open. And then again, finding that balance, whether it's three to five times, bending the knee in the direction over the ankle towards the toe. And then when you feel balanced, and only you'll know when you feel ready, straighten both legs, arms come out in front of you, and then as you exhale, arms come out to the side, add a bend to that knee and breathe here. And then you have the decision here if you want your palms down or if you wanna flip your palms up. Maybe you experiment one palm down, one palm up, right? And just play with it. How can you make it a dance? How can you follow the rhythm of your breath? Breathing here. Maybe you feel the legs warming up. And then when you feel ready, as you exhale, palms come down, hands on the hips, straighten both legs, and then toe heel your feet together and shake it out. Good. Let it go. Right? Whatever that looks like. And always a reminder, right? Yoga, sometimes it can have different views. And what I always tell my students is it doesn't have to be serious. You can make it your own and unique and you can make it fun, right? So take the next few breaths to make it look and feel great for you, however that is. And we have one more standing pose and then we'll be lying on our backs after the standing pose for the rest of the practice. You're doing great, everyone. All right, when you're ready, the lovely chair pose. So for chair pose, if this is the first time you're doing it, you're gonna separate your feet about hip width distance or a little bit wider. And a good cue for this, why we call it chair pose, is it looks like we're sitting back into a chair. So I'm actually gonna bring my chair back so you can see this. So you're gonna act like you're sitting back into a chair and just for demoing purposes, I'm gonna sit in the chair. 
So my arms are gonna come forward, my knees are bent, my heart is forward, arms can come up, arms can come to heart center, out to the side, or maybe even your arms back behind you. So you can practice this in a chair if you would like. And then if you want a little bit more challenging, you can do it without the chair. So again, feet are gonna be nice and wide so you feel that strong foundation. Take an inhale, send your hips back, scoop your arms forward, and then decide, do you want your hands at your heart? Do you want them out in front of you? Does it feel good to have them out to the sides? Do you wanna fly your chair plane with your fingertips back? And then wherever your hand position is at, breathing into this, this can be very challenging. So just do the best you can. Anytime you need to come out of it, you can come out of it. And then notice your knees. Notice if your knees are over your toes. On your next inhale, see if you can shift your knees back. And if that means coming out of the bend a little bit, totally fine. So wherever your hands are at, I'm gonna place my hands at my heart, hips back, breathe into this. Notice how your legs feel. Notice where the mind goes when the pose gets a little challenging. Know that you're doing amazing. You're exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly stand up, shake it out. And when you're ready, making your way onto the ground. If you have a pillow or a towel or a blanket, you have the option to use that if you would like some support underneath your head. I'm gonna be demoing with a blanket that I have. All right, one more active pose and then we'll be resting. So however you would like to, in your space, slowly make your way onto your back. And once you're there, hug your knees into your chest and find whatever move is calling you. So maybe it's a gentle sway, Maybe it's finding some hip circles. Maybe it's hugging one knee in and then the other, right? So what feels good in your body and listening to yourself, however that looks like. And then once you feel balanced on your next inhale, hug your knees into your chest. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the feet, and your palms can be down at your side. So we're moving into what's called bridge pose. So for this, back of the head can be supported on a pillow, a blanket, or the ground. Palms can be down for grounding energy. Palms can be turned up to receive or uplift energy. And then you want your knees bent and your feet planted into the ground. So from here, on your next inhale, you're gonna push through the heels and lift the hips up. Palms are down for support, or you can lift the palms up and overhead if you want the arms to join the party. So many options here. And then once the pelvis is lifted, see if you can push into the heels, really squeeze the glutes. This is beautiful for lower body strengthening and also beautiful for back pain and tightness. Relax your face, keep pressing into your heels, lift your heart up and maybe even back behind you, sending energy throughout your room. And then as you exhale, slowly and with control lower, one vertebrae at a time. Take your time. And then once you're down on your back, hug the knees into your chest. One more time, find the movement that feels best for you. And then when you're ready, you have the option to do a second round of bridge, or you can just relax for this one. So if you're, if you're joining with me, the second round of bridge, palms can be down at your sides. Knees are bent, press into the heels. As you inhale, lift the hips. Send energy of your heart and your collarbone up and back behind you. Let it radiate around the room. Keep pressing into your heels. Squeeze and activate your glutes. 
Relax your eyebrows, soften through your jaw. Breathe into your lower body. Imagine your back getting stronger by the second. Deep core muscles. If you want, you can lift the hands up overhead. See how that feels, or maybe you rest your palms down at your sides. Keep breathing here, elevating the pelvis. You're here for four, last three seconds, two, and when you're ready, slowly lowering upper, middle, and lower back as if you're moving through something thick like honey. Take your time on the way down. Hug your knees into your chest and find a gentle sway. Great work, everyone. All right, now it's time for dessert. So in yoga, we call this Shavasana, which is lying on the back pose. But I wanted to offer up suggestions. So heading into our final resting pose, traditional would be lying on the back. Knees can be bent or legs can be straight. But maybe you take Shavasana on your side today, supporting the head and the neck. Or another option is to take Shavasana on the belly. If that feels good. So again, there's many options. Whenever you're ready, find your Shavasana. However that looks like today. And once you make your way into your final resting pose, Take a moment to take a deep breath in and a nice relaxing breath out. And allow yourself the permission and stillness to take this time for yourself. And when it's time, I'll slowly guide you out. Just begin to let it go.
If you're ready to be guided out of your Shavasana, slowly begin to draw the awareness back to your breath. Just noticing the rhythm of the breath as it enters and exits the body. And if you're ready, bring subtle movements into the body, wiggling fingers and toes, reawakening yourself to the present moment. Maybe rolling up your wrists and your ankles. And then if you're lying on your back on your next inhale, reaching your arms up and over your head for that full body stretch from fingertips all the way to your feet. And with a gentle exhale, allowing the arms to rest down at your sides, adding a bend to your knees, and wherever you're at, gently guiding yourself onto your side, supporting your head and your neck, and placing your hand over your heart center. Your eyes can be closed or gaze can be relaxed. And allow yourself the permission in stillness to take this time for you. And on your next inhale, drawing the awareness to how you feel in this moment compared to when you woke up this morning. And just noticing how you feel. And see if you can take this feeling with you into the rest of your day. Know that it's always there and available to you when you connect to the breath. And take your time when you're ready, gently pressing yourself up into a comfortable seat. Take your time, there's no rush, move slowly. And once you get there, finding some movement of the head and the neck. And then when you feel like you're ready to, drawing the chin down towards your chest. Breathing into the back of your neck. And then on your inhale, drawing your chin through center. And then up to the sky. Exhale, chin back to center. Lowering the chin down towards your chest. Last time, chin through center. Chin up to the sky. And then when you're ready, exhale, chin through center. If you feel comfortable bringing your hands to heart center, thumbs connected to the middle of your chest. And we'll close our practice with the breath together. When you're ready, start by inhaling through the nose. And a nice relaxing exhale out of your mouth, let it go. Thank you for your time and your energy and your space. 
from my heart to yours, bowing forward. Thank you. I just wanted to share something that one of my teachers taught me in yoga therapy, and especially with this pandemic and being on the screen so much for many different avenues of our life, right? School, work, whatever else we're on there for, even on our phones, tablets. Um, so I'd like to offer up a suggestion for the eyes. So if you have glasses, if you feel comfortable, you can take them off. And then this is for eye strain or something you can do, whether you do it at the beginning of your day or at the end of your day, or even if you want to do it throughout your day when you have breaks. So if you would like to, uh, I invite you to join me. You're going to rub your palms together and just feel the heat. In yoga, we call this prana, which is this energy that we have, right? So rubbing, rubbing, rubbing a little bit faster for four, three, two, one one and then gently placing it over your eye so it's almost like you're making a cup with your hands and resting the bottom of that palm over your eyes and just feeling this grounding energy feeling a weight lifted off of your shoulders feel the support Feel the ability to let go. And then when you feel like you're ready, slowly release, gently peel the palms away. And then rest your arms down. So you can do that anytime throughout your day. Um, and, and just the grounding component of it, of the hands over the eyes too, and just that support. So I wanted to offer that to you. So thank you for inspiring me to bring that up. D teaches the yoga class when that's the, the um, course little code on there. There's also yoga classes offered at the Student Rec Center, yeah. which is all virtual right now. Um, Beach Balance also offers some meditation. If you listen to our final podcast, I believe it's in part two, so it'll be coming out tomorrow. It might be in part one, but Bert talks about a uh, meditation class that's offered on Mondays um, at 4 p.m. And you can go through Beach Sync to get that. Um, yoga on the bluff if you're in Long Beach is currently happening if you just google yoga on the bluff in Long Beach it'll give you uh, location times and dates and then a couple apps Nike training app is totally free and there's yoga sessions on there as well as an app called down dog yoga and there is a student discount you just have to use your student email and yeah, thank you so much, Dee, for everything. I really appreciate you. And Dee, if anyone wanted to like maybe get in touch with you and talk more about yoga, did you want to put your uh, email and contact information in the chat? Yep, you read my mind. <laughs> so I have two emails. One of them is with the campus. So I'll put that one in first. And it's just my name, Diana Orderica at csulb.edu. And then my personal email is my name. So diana.orderica at gmail.com. Um, and I'm happy to ask, answer any questions or if you want to set up a Zoom time and we can discuss. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you everyone that showed up and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye everyone. Have a great day. Bye, Bye everyone.